this never gets old. <laughs> Cable Cars is one of the best known tourist attractions in San Francisco with a very good reason. But take a look at how long these lines are. You can be waiting for three hours to ride what's most likely going to be a sardine-like experience. Even today, it's off season, the line is still pretty long. So I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the cable cars, the best times to ride them so you don't have to waste your valuable vacation time waiting in line. So let's get started. Cable cars were invented in San Francisco in the 1870s. By the 1890s, there were 23 cable car lines in San Francisco. Today, there are only three lines of manually operated cable cars left in the entire world, all three here in San Francisco. So this is definitely a unique experience. Two of these lines originate here at Powell and Market. This particular line was brought into service in 1888. And I think this turnaround that turns the car around is really ingenious and an engineering feat, particularly for the 1880s. cable cars confused with street cars. They are completely different things. If you notice at the top of the street cars, there is a connection at the top to a wire. The street cars run on electricity. You'll notice there's also a connection at the top of the muni buses. They also run by electricity, but there's no electricity, no connection for the cable cars. There's no engine. They just seem to operate on their own. They seem to just float up the hill. No engine, no motor, no electricity, no thestrals. Okay, true story. I take the cable cars a lot because I live at the top of the hill. And one time I was on the car and the tourist says to the conductor, so, is this thing powered by gasoline? <laughs> I could not help it. I broke out into laughter, but I really shouldn't have because a lot of people don't know how the cable cars are powered. The cable car, as the name suggests, is pulled by a cable, an underground cable that runs at a consistent 9.5 miles per hour all the time. To move forward, there's a grip that grabs hold of the cable and the cable pulls the car. When the cable car wants to stop, it lets go of the cable and a braking system is employed. There are three braking systems on the cable cars. Now sometimes you'll get on a car and it'll smell like burning wood. That's one of the braking systems. This is the Cable Car Museum. It is free and totally worth the visit. These are the actual cables that are pulling the cable cars. Check this out. This number eight car was from the original fleet of cable cars from 1873. It is the oldest cable car in the world and the only surviving car from the original fleet of cable cars. The museum has a ton of other historical memorabilia, photos, exhibits. It is definitely worth your time. A single muni car pass is $8 per person per ride. If you're in town for a few days, you can get a one day, a three day, or a seven day muni pass. And that gives you access to unlimited rides on the cable car as well as on the street cars, the muni buses, and the muni trains. So if you're in town for a few days, the passes are definitely worth it. 
Here are some tips that you can use so you don't have to stand in these long lines to take the cable car. The cable cars run from 6.30 in the morning until midnight. So my first tip for you morning people, get up early. Now I know you don't want to get on the cable car at 6.30 in the morning and I don't blame you. But 7, 7.30, 8, even as late as 8.30, it's not going to be that busy and it'll get you over to Fisherman's Wharf where you can have some breakfast and enjoy the day over there. Another tip is when you're here at Powell and Market and you're heading up the hill to Fisherman's Wharf, it's mostly packed. But up on the hill, coming back, a lot of tourists have already gotten off. So you can almost always get the cable car at the top of the hill and ride it down, no problem. Remember at the beginning of this video, I said there were three lines left in operation and two of them originated here at Powell and Market. The third line is at California Street and Market. I took this video on the same day I took this video, but look how many people are in line. There's hardly anyone. So if you're looking for a cable car experience and you don't want to stand in these lines and you don't want to get up early or stay up late, then head over to the California Street Line. Now, in all fairness, the California Street Line doesn't run as frequently as the Powell Street Line does. So you will have to wait, but I've never had to wait over there for more than 30 minutes and I've always gotten on the first car. The California Street Line also has seats in the front and the back, whereas here at Powell you can only sit in the front of the car or inside. I just had dinner here at Uncle Vito's, which is a great Italian restaurant. There's Roxanne Cafe across the street, Rue Lepic is a block up, and then there's some other restaurants up on California Street. So when you go out and eat in this area and you're finished, how do you think about getting home? You're most likely going to think Uber or Lyft, but think about the cable car as a way that you can take home. Just walk over here to Powell Street and grab the cable car going back down to Union Square. It is a great way to take advantage of the cable cars. So don't think of them as a tourist ride but think of it as a way to get around. My favorite time riding the cable car though is in the evenings. There is nothing like riding the cable car through the lights of downtown San Francisco. So that's what we're gonna do. Now check it out, it's 639. Look how many people are in line. What is this, five people? I'm six? Oh, here comes someone. Now I always walk around the back of the car to get an outside seat on the street side because everyone else is going for that outside seat that they can see. Do anyway. My usual spot right up front.
So now you know, when you're in San Francisco, you won't be wasting your valuable vacation time standing in line. Take it early, take it late, take the California line or start at the top and ride it down. Thank you for watching. Here's another true story. One night I was riding the cable car home from work and it was coming down into the Powell turnaround and it stopped right here. The conductor turned to us and said, it's stuck, does anyone want to help me push it? Well, I laughed, I thought he was joking, but he said, I'm not joking, it's stuck. So, there was me, two or three other guys, we all got our backs against the car and we pushed it until it got on the turnaround. And then they were able to turn it around and we were able to get home. That was crazy.